Good morning. Um, welcome to Rob's Rants. I call it Rob's Rants not because I'm a lunatic, even though some of you think that I am, uh, but because I speak a lot, talk a lot, type a lot. Um, my rant today is about who's this guy? Peter Malinowskis, MP. He sent me a letter today. Um, I don't like getting letters from members of parliament. I generally don't read them, but I did today for some reason. Um, now, Peter is advertising himself as leader for the opposition. Before we even go into what Peter's policies are and whether or not anyone should vote for him, I won't vote for him, uh, but before we even go into that, uh, I just want to discuss that claim. Leader of the opposition. Who is the opposition? This is deliberately breaking the vote down into one of two options. Both are bad. There is no good option if you're choosing from only two people. The idea of this party politics system that we have is an absolute disgrace to our entire political system. You're supposed to have a local representative that represents you. You are not supposed to be voting for somebody to represent a party view. The only reason that these people do this is so that they can get the advertising support to get themselves voted in so that they can make money. That doesn't benefit you. That benefits them as a party, as a group of people who are aligning to line their own pockets. That's the first problem. If we can get rid of that system, everyone will be better off for it because we'll be electing people that actually represent our own personal views. Now, my views are pretty controversial. I know a lot of you will not agree, agree with what I have to say, but i got a right to say it. And you need to have a right to say it as well. Even if you disagree with me, you need to have that right. You need to have that vote. You need to have somebody that's representing you or at least the majority of people that are around you. And that's totally cool. We don't have that with the current two party system that we've all been brainwashed into believing that, oh yeah, that's the only thing that we can vote for. Do not vote for a major representative in this coming election. Vote for an independent. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's somebody that I completely don't agree with. I'd prefer that as an independent person with wacky policies than one of these major party leaders, which definitely have their own wacky policies. I can assure you of that. But um, let's have a look more specifically at what inspired me to start videoing this morning. Um, Peter Malinaskis, he sent me a photo of his family. He sent me calendar. I really don't want to stick it on the fridge, but I'll probably end up using it at some point. Every day it will be a reminder of who not to vote for. He sent me a letter um, telling me about himself and his two children, Sophie and Jack, and his wife, Annabelle, and his, uh, his, or, and his grandfather's side was from Lithuania and his grandmother from Hungary. Um, ultimately, he's just trying to butter me up and seem personable by mailing out a mass-produced letter, which doesn't even have a return mailing address on the front of the letter, so I couldn't even mark it as return to sender if I wanted to. Um, he sent me a little checklist asking me what I want to see. Now, let's see what's on this checklist. What's important to me? Secure, well-paid jobs. Well, the Labour Party doesn't do a very good job of that. They do a pretty good job of destroying all things that allow businesses to thrive. Um, a strong economy. Yeah, I don't think the Labour Party does that. You might disagree with me. You're fine to do that. Action on climate change. Well, I hope that they can stop taking action on climate change at the expense of the taxpayer. If they want to take action on climate change and it doesn't cost money, hey, go for it. Um, no bin tax. Hey, that would be nice. That'd be great. Why do you even have to ask about that? Obviously, people don't want to pay tax. It's a stupid thing even putting it on there. It's designed just to inspire the thought that, oh, this guy's looking out for us. He knows that we don't want to bin tax. Of course, you don't want to bin tax. Nobody wants to pay tax. Protecting penalty rates. Well, I... Yeah, I've got my own views on that. I don't want to protect penalty rates because I think that everyone should be able to discuss things with their employer and come to their own independent negotiations. Uh, only people that need protection are the people that probably aren't entitled to it. Maybe there's a few that that doesn't apply to, but I think the majority does. Investing in local schools. Hey, yeah, we should probably invest in local schools. Less taxes. Well, you've got no bin taxes and less taxes. Of course, it's an obvious one. You do not have to ask, do people want to pay less tax? No, people do not want to pay tax. We want less tax. It's clear as day. It doesn't even have to be asked. It's just a stupid, misleading question on a form inspired you, 
designed to inspire you to think this is a nice guy. Maybe he's a nice guy in his personal life. I don't know. But I don't like him already just because he's mailed me this spam mail. Cheaper electricity. Of course we want cheaper electricity. Why, again, why do you even ask? Lower car registration. Again, why do you ask? Nobody wants to pay more for things. Ban phones from schools. Now, I've got an issue with that one. Why are you asking if we should ban things? We shouldn't ban anything. Stop oppressing people. That's what the Labour Party seems to be all about for me. Oppression. Stop oppressing people. Stop telling people what they can and can't do. And when you put something in that ban phones from schools, no, don't ban phones from schools. That's just retardation at its finest. Stop privatisations. Well, again, that's more oppression. Like, if industry wants to come in and involve themselves in certain areas that government has a handle on, allow them to do it. Competition's a good thing. The government needs competition too. We don't have enough competition in government. That brings us back to this two-party stupid system that we have that you all keep voting for. Stop voting for the two-party system. A healthy Murray River. Well, he's not really representing the Murray River area. Um, I'm in O'Halloran Hill, uh, which is not a Murray area, but hey, why wouldn't anyone want a healthy Murray River? Of course, that's something that doesn't need, need to be asked again. Uh, affordable housing. Yes, we'd all love to have affordable housing as well. I can't think of too many people that are going to say, no, I don't want affordable housing. I want expensive housing that I can't afford to live in. What a dumb question. Less ambulance ramping. Well, I'm pretty sure that most people are decent people at the core. I say most people because it's definitely not everybody. Um... And nobody wants to see people waiting on the ramp in an ambulance bay. Again, it's an obvious one. Why? So the question is, why is he asking this question and what is it designed to do? Well, this is exactly what this two-party system are for. It's designed to take these politicians and give them marketing and promotional material that align with a, a greater public image so that they can have cheaper advertising and encourage them to get or encourage you rather to vote for them because they're a memorable name i would never remember the name peter malinaskis and family i wouldn't remember that it's just not a memorable name labor party how i can remember that and if i was stupid enough to remember that as oh yeah that's the person i have to vote for because it's the lesser of the two evils i don't think it's even the lesser of the two evils to be honest with you i think it's the more evil of the two evils but they're both evil that's what you have to understand but this whole questionnaire was designed to make you think, hey, this is a nice guy. It's not designed to actually do anything or achieve anything. He's got his own views already anyway, which he is going to represent those views regardless of probably what you tell him. And he's going to represent the company line because that's the contract that he has with the company in order to receive all this advertising brand with the Labour Party. And by you voting for him... You're also voting for all the other people that you may not agree with that are in other areas as well that do not represent your views at all and are supposed to represent your views. Now, the way our political party, not, not political party, the way our political system is supposed to work is you should have a representative which comes and talks to you and says, hey, Joe, what is it that you actually want? What's the problem in your local area? And how can I fix that without charging you more taxes? And you say, hey, Joe, problem is the, the government keeps on oppressing me and there's too many things that I can't do. I can't go and open up my shop and keep it open late at night because it's not affordable to trade because the government that we have today has implemented so many policies around uh, employment that it doesn't allow me to hire staff and have the freedom to do what my business needs or to negotiate with staff and hire people to work for short periods, even though I've got people begging, saying, hey, I only want to work for an hour, that's all the work that I need, because your government wants me to pay them for two or three hour minimums, and they want to pay, want me to pay my staff for rates that my business can't afford, which means that I hire nobody, even though the staff saying, hey, I'd be happy to work for a dollar an hour less than what is currently advertised. These are whole separate arguments, and you, I'm sure you're all going to flame me for having that view in the first place. I don't care, that's my view. But the fact is that this sort of thing is not happening where you've got your local politicians that are supposed to be representing you coming and talking to you and finding out what the problems is that they're representing because they're not representing your views at all. They're only representing two views, their own personal views, where possible, but the primary view that they're representing is the company line, which is, in this case, the Labour Party view. It's the same for the Liberal National Party, which... Uh, is the closest thing you're going to get to a, co a, a coalition of independent people, which is why they call themselves the coalition, obviously, um, 
in the next election because there's not enough people that are awake in Australia because you'll keep voting for one of the two. Uh, I don't know. Rant over. I'm sure I'll come up with more to add to this that I wish I put on the video, but I just want to express the fact that, hey, stop posting me this garbage, this is junk mail, and stop voting for these people when they post it to you. If somebody comes and knocks on your door and they say, hey, I'm not from any major party and I'm actually generally concerned about this community and I'm generally concerned about what is going on in politics today, have a chat to them. If they think that our political system is broken and they've got a plan to change it if they get elected and they will vote on your behalf to the government against this overlord controlling system that we have, vote for that person. Don't vote for anyone else.